Hey, um, you're a, an Irishman who grew up on on English soil. How are you feeling about this one? Does it does it get your blood flow in this game? Oh, it really does, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I always still remember bouncing into school in 88 when we beat England. It's the best moment of my ad, of my childhood, without a doubt. I couldn't <laughs> get in there. I just could not get there quick enough. <laughs> But it is a fascinating thing, bearing in mind it's Lee Carsey, a former teammate of us for Ireland, but also for Coventry. And I know about his Irish heritage and how much it means to him, but I also know that he does have an English side to him as well. The flip side of that is we've got a new manager coming in as well in Heimer. And I'm, more often than not, I'm, I'm just delighted to hear him talk because I felt at times in the build-up to this game, we've heard too much from John O'Shea. Mm. Like, we don't need to hear from him. He's the number two. John O'Shea's role as the number two is talking to the players and the manager and explaining the situations, not the media. We need to hear the manager speaking. I think we're suddenly... Why well, do you think that was done? Do you think... I don't know. I do have my suspicions. I don't understand why he was front and centre, John, as the number two. I know, like, um, Jaime has talked about his knowledge of the players invaluable, and that's fair enough on the training ground and stuff like that. But I just think now John needs to concentrate, focus on just being the number two and playing that role. I'm not sure why he was... Um, push in front of the camera. So from the bits that you have heard, uh, whether it's over the last couple of months or, or the bits that he's spoken this week and indeed uh, today, what are you expecting from his Ireland team? I expect them to be organised. I expect them to know their roles. I think even the sound bites, a lot of the stuff saying it's good to be ambitious but not over ambitious. It's about building the foundations. And at, at first I kind of thought, are they little digs to the previous regime? I'm not sure they were. I think they're just him getting his philosophy across and letting it seep into not only the supporters but mainly the players. I think we've seen now in the build-up the likes of Jason Malumbi saying there's no more excuses for us now. Mm. And they, this group of players have had so much um, excuses made from like we we nearly played well we nearly got it we're unlucky that those days have, have got to stop the whole mindset's got to be completely different and it's a it's a tough ch challenge today of course it is against a team like England and the quality they have but you know this is what you dream about playing for Ireland do you think that Keith that comment I don't know I think we we're just before the watershed uh, here because so we can't actually use the word but essentially he was saying he, he, he thought Ireland were too nice and he wanted to be a bit nastier uh, and use the B word we want a few, few more of them um, do you think that is going to be the identity of this team to be a bit more horrible to play against? Yeah, I think it has to be. I think there's been so many times, especially the Greek result over in Athens when we got turned over so easily. Stephen Kenny came out after and said we didn't really have time to address. We just move on and you know we, we concentrate on the next game. For me, you know there has to be people policing the dressing room. If the manager's not going to point out the flaws, then it has to be leaders within the dressing room need to point it out. And if that's somebody who's going to upset their own teammates, going to you know talk a few home truths, and you want to put that word on them, then by all means, if it's if it's going to create that momentum to move forward and everybody pushing each other, it has to be like that. We've all been in dressing rooms where you can feel it. This is too nice. There's nobody mm. digging anybody out and. It just gets that bit noisy. So, yeah, I, I would agree that we do need... You can call it that word, Tommy. I'd call it a leader. And some leaders yeah. need to be able to upset people as That's well. That's the, the PC word for, uh, for what he was using. 